Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hess. We're going to use three column notes today to talk about annuities. Um, we're going to use technology to help us with this today, specifically the GeoGebra Time Value of Money Solver. Uh, see the link in the comment of the video to get that. So what's an annuity? How do you use the solver to solve these types of problems? So first, what is an annuity? So an annuity is some type of financial product, a a way to invest your money where you pay a fixed amount every period. For example, if you save $100 for each paycheck to reach a long-term goal like retirement, that's, that's a big idea of an annuity. So to solve these types of problems, you need the same information that we needed to solve regular time value of money problems, but this time we're gonna introduce using the payment. So instead of leaving it blank or putting in a zero, that's gonna be a key part of these problems. So we're gonna solve three example types. We're gonna do one where we're solving for the future value given regular payments. The second type is we're going to find what the payment is if we know how much we need in the future. And the third type is we're gonna find the present value of a set of payments, meaning if you were to put away so much money every month, how much that would that be worth to someone today? So here's our first, here's our three problems with numbers. So the first one we're gonna talk about is find the future value of an annuity. The monthly payment is $250 at 7% for 10 years. So every month you're putting $250 into your bank or into a CD or stocks or bonds or some type of financial instrument. So this is what we're gonna put into the calculator. Let me talk to you about what that means and how we're getting that. So 10 years and monthly means that we're gonna have 10 times 12 equals 120. That 7% goes straight here. The present value, it doesn't tell us anything about the present value. And so we're going to assume that you have nothing today, but every month from here on out, you're going to have an extra $250. So this is what we're, we're told we have $250 a month. And so that's how much we're putting away. And this payments per year and compounding per year because of this monthly, those both are 12. And they are always going to be the same. And so now you're going to click on the future value button. And make sure to click on the box to make sure there's no penny. Um, and so our future value is $43,271. And I actually did click, click on it and it, there was nothing there. So that is how much you'll have in the future if you put away 250 a month at 7% interest. So let's go on to the next piece. So the second problem. So this is one where we know how much we want. So you've talked to a financial advisor and you know that you need half a million at retirement to be in the position you wanna be. Then you perhaps have 30 years, maybe you have 20 years, maybe you have 40 years. But in this case, you have 30 years until you retire and you wanna put money into an annuity every quarter. So that means you're going to put four times a year a certain amount of money away every quarter. So let's start with N. We have 30 years, but we're looking at quarters. So we're going to have 30 years times four. And so that's how we got the 120. There's our 8%. It doesn't say anything about money today. So you don't, you didn't start with money in the account. You started with nothing because it doesn't have the word present or how much you have today. This is what we're looking for. And we know that our future value needs to be 500,000. Please note that they, that we don't use commas in the solver. So you just put in that straight 500,000 and the periods per year and compounding per year. Those are four because four is how many quarters are in a year. So when you click on your payment button and make sure you click so that you see the pennies, you need to put away 
$1,024.05 each quarter. All right, so let's keep going. So we know how much we need to put away and how to solve this type of problem. All right, here's the last one. Um, again, this one is telling us how much we're saving every other week. So every other week means we know that there's 52 weeks in the year. But every other week means we're going to use half of the weeks. So that means we're going to have 26. So we have 26 weeks in a year. That's where these payments per year and compounding per year came from. And we're doing this for 15 years. So 15 times 26 will give us 390. There's our 9% interest rate. And we're putting away 250. So that's our payment box. And this one is specifically says, what's the present value of this annuity? So you can put a zero in for future value or leave it blank, but we just want to know what it's worth today. Meaning if someone were to just put money away today, that's what it's worth. So click on the present value. Notice that this one, you definitely need to click on it to see the penny. And you have 53,455 and 62 cents. So that's the value of your payments today. It's going to be a little bit less than the sum of your payments because this much over the 15 years would grow. All right. So take a minute to breathe that in and think about it and <laughs> process that. All right, so we talked about annuities. How do we solve for the different variables using the solver? The solver is key. So I want you to read this question, pause the video and try it on your own. We have a semi-annual payment of 1,250 at 7% for 12 years. What's the future value? So pause your video, try it on your own. If you need the link to the solver, it's in the comments and then come back. All right, thanks for coming back. So we want to find the future value. Semi-annually means two times a year. So let's look at what we're going to put in the solver. Let's see if you did the same thing that I did. So because semi-annually means twice a year, we're going to have two times 12. And you'll fill in twos here for semi-annual, zero for the payment, present value. And the um, payment is what they gave us. So when we click on the future value, notice I had to click on the box to see the whole value. That's a four. 45,833 and 16 cents. So if you were to put away 1,250, every six months for 12 years, and you were able to get 7% return, that is how much you would get. So here are the links again. Let me know if you have any questions and keep up the great work. Thanks for being here.